Hey campers, welcome to Bible Gems. Today, we're gonna learn about some spies from the Bible. <sighs> Have you seen my grappling hook? Your what? to see what Auntie Linda has in store. Bible Gems is up next. <laughs> hey, I found my grappling hook. Oh, Julie, no! Look at, look at this Whoa. gem. I found a gem, it's the most, it's so awesome. I can't wait to hear about it. Oh, oh, it's so special. I, I couldn't even hardly put it down, it's so special. I, I wonder, Miss Jody, do you have a song that would go along with this Bible gem? Look. Oh, oh, let me see. Oh, yes, I do, <laughs> I do. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, okay, boys and girls, welcome to Bible Gems, and you can sing the song with us. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, are ordered by the Lord. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his ways. Psalm 37, verse 23. job. And Miss Jody, we don't even have to carry all the things that tell us about the precious gems. No? We can carry them in our hearts wherever we go. That's we can carry true. those gems. I want to tell you about someone that had one of those precious gems that he carried in his heart. Joshua was praying and thinking about, oh, we're, we're almost ready to cross over to the Jordan, and what should we do, and, and Lord help me, and all of a sudden, right before him stood a great, big warrior. Step back and he said, he had his hand on his sword, are you for us or against us? And he said, I am captain of the mighty God in heaven. And that was really Jesus. And he told them that he would be with him and to be courageous. And he would, he, would, he would be with him in battle. And this battle was not to be Joshua's or the Israelites. It was to be God's battle. He would fight it. Joshua sent some spies out. They had to be very, very careful. I don't know. Yeah, maybe she's all right. Okay, we're going to take the city. Okay, all right, just act normal, just act normal. Just, just, just come on, we'll just go together. Hello, hello, oh, yes. But someone, someone seen him. And Rahab came over and said, I, I see you're new in the city. It's, you, you, it's not really that safe here. Why, why don't you come to my house? So the spies went to her house, but somebody had been watching and they saw that Rahab had taken some spies to her house. And the spies said, the Lord God of Israel is going to take this city. And she said, I know we've heard about when you cross the Red Sea and everybody here has always trembled at such a great God that could, could part the Red Sea. And as they were telling them about how God would take this, there was a knock. Can you knock? Make a knock. Let us in, in the name of the king, let us in. Oh, no, what do we do? Oh dear, oh dear, what 
do we do? Oh, oh no, oh no, we're gonna have to do something. Oh dear, we'll hide him, we'll hide him, we'll hide him. Okay, get down underneath here. Okay, come on, get down, get down, we've gotta hide him. Okay, all right, I'll put some straw on top, they may not see him, okay. And so they covered him up, they covered him up. All of them, they covered him up. And then the soldiers came marching in. We saw two men come here. Where are they? Where are those men? They went on the rooftop, but they didn't see him because they were all covered up and they didn't see him. And, and Rahab said, well, well, maybe they, I, I think they probably left the city. And if you hurry, if you really hurry, you can catch them. Which way do they go? Well, maybe that way. Oh, okay, let's go. Stomp, make lots of noise like the soldiers. Stomp, 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 stomp. Yes, oh yes, oh. And then Rahab said, surely, surely God has given you into the hand of, 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 of the God Almighty has given us into your hands. So please, please, please save Save me and my people, Play, my, my family, my father, my mother, my, my relatives. And the soldier said, because you have been so kind to us, then I'll tell you what we'll do. You take this scarlet cord, put it right. She had a, she had a home on the wall where she could see everything. Put it right there. And when we see it, when God takes the city, you stay there in the house until we come and get you out safely. And all that you have will be saved. And she believed them. So when it was night, she looked this way. All clear. Come on, come on. And so they tied up the rope and they went down the city wall. And then they ran as fast as they could. And she had told them, might run into the wilderness and stay there three days. Well, meanwhile, stomp! The soldiers were looking everywhere, all around. Have you seen these two men? Have you seen these two men? But they were nowhere, nowhere at all. So they, so after a while, Joshua's two spies came back to him and they told them all that had happened and the promise they made to Rahab. And then he said, God has said, that he will give us a city. Now we must put away our sins, and now it's time to cross the Jordan. It was very full, the river was full, there'd been, and it was rocking and going back and forth, and it was like, wow, the Jordan was really, really, the water had just swelled up. And as they came, he said, this priest are going to step their foot into the water. And as they stepped their foot into the water, it will part. And just as he said, they stepped into the water and they had to leave a distance all around the holy ark because they carried the ark and the priest and the waters parted and the water went clear back up this way and the other side went clear back up this way. And then all of them started marching across and they marched over to the other side and then the priest came with the ark and when they stepped on the other side, the water just covered up again. And God was doing a miracle. And God had told them, every day, I want you to march around the city, but don't say a word. And so every day, just the sound of your feet, make your feet. Day one. Day two. Now we're on day two. Day three, day four, day five, day six. Now, something else was gonna happen. Joshua said, this is really very, very important that you remember to do. We must always obey God. This battle could not be won by the Israelite soldiers, not even a little bit. And meanwhile, while they had been marching around, the king was looking out the window and all the warriors and everybody say, what are they doing now? And the king wasn't feeling so brave because this city was known as one of the biggest worshipers of idols. 
And he said, have you prayed to our gods? Yes, but they do nothing. And he said, oh, oh, what do we do? Oh, 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 I'm so scared. What are they doing now? They're marching around again. Oh dear, every day it's driving me crazy, said the king. What are we gonna do? Every day they march around and they march around and they don't say a thing and then they go back. I know, it's almost dawn of the seventh day. It's about time for them to do it again. Meanwhile, Rahab went to her relatives. Please, you must get in the house right away. Now's the time that he told me about. Bring anything that you want and come to my house. You must come right away. Please, today is the day. You must come right away. Okay, come right away. Come into the house. All my family, come in the house and then you'll be saved. They were all there watching, wondering what would happen. What would happen next? But they knew, Rahab said, we have to check and see if the scarlet cord is still in the window. And they looked and said, yes, it's right there. Then we'll be okay. They promised if I had the scarlet cord, we would be, off, uh, we would be okay. So then they began to march around the seventh time, very quietly, very right. quietly. Everyone, they began march to march around. Slowly they went. And not a sound were they to make until God said, I will tell you when to make a sound. And he would tell them through Joshua. And so very quietly, they were marching, marching, marching. And the people on the wall were like, what do you think is going on? King said, this is a little eerie. They're, they're not saying anything. They're just marching. What, 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 what's happening? Oh, there they go. There they go. What are they doing? I, I don't know. I don't know, said the magicians. We can't do anything about it. Our gods, they won't do anything. They don't see, they don't hear, they don't anything. We're dealing with a God that's all knowing. We're dealing with a God that can see and that they can know. And now they went around. And after, after they had gone around one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, six times, but the seventh time was different, all of a sudden, the trumpets began to play. And then there was a mighty shout. Lord, 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 Lord. And now, we're making the loud sounds. The walls began to tumble down. Woo! Crash! Woo! Crash! Oh, they've been crashing all around. The walls were falling everywhere. Everybody was scared except for Rahab, and they safely were able to get her out of the city because she believed God, and God saved her. Just at the end time, God will save his children too. When everything is happening around us and walls are crashing down, we have a God that is coming soon. Jesus will come in the clouds of heaven, and all those that obey him, and all those that love him, will be able to be with Jesus forever and ever and ever. So you see, boys and girls, this is a true gem. Always remember, you have a faithful God. Until next time, search your scriptures daily that you'll find the hidden gems too. Goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye. Bye. God bless you.